After seeing the thumbnail, you might be wondering what's common between these two gentlemen. Well, for starters, they are very famous personalities in their respective field. They are both pretty rich. They are both experts in their work areas. But most importantly, they work in their circle of competence. Now, what is a circle of competence and why should you care? Let's find it out. Did you know, in this COVID crisis, the number of new DMAT accounts in India has increased by 22.5%. A DMAT account is an account used for investing in stock markets. This means that more and more people are becoming interested in increasing their wealth. Out of the previous two personalities, one can help you with that. Warren Buffett. I hope you didn't guess the other ones. A brief introduction to the billionaire investor. Born in Omaha, he was having a business mindset since the beginning. At only 6 years old, Buffett purchased 6 packs of Coca-Cola from his grandfather's grocery store for 25 cents and sold them for 30 cents. This gentleman grew up to join an investment firm with a starting salary of $12,000 and his net worth was $70.5 billion in April 2020. If you have seen my previous video, you will shout, Hey, stop fooling me. You told that map is not the territory. So how will this be helpful to me? As I said in the previous video, you can always understand the model behind other people's success and adapt it to your situation. Now back to a gentleman. In 1996 year older letter, he wrote, what an investor needs is the ability to evaluate selected businesses. Note that word, selected. You don't have to be an expert on every company or even many. You only have to be able to evaluate companies within your circle of competence. The size of the circle is not very important. Knowing its boundaries, however, is vital. Let's understand with this diagram. This small circle is the things that you know and the bigger one is the things that you think you know. When you are a beginner in anything, the difference between these circles increases and then starts decreasing gradually. This effect was explained by social psychologists David Dunning and Justin Kruger. They described the confidence levels people experience over time as they move from being a beginner to being an expert. When you are starting something, you learn quickly as there are a lot of new things. This boosts up your confidence levels drastically. When you continue, you find out other details that were not visible before. This causes a fall in the confidence levels as you start seeing how much efforts will it truly take to become an expert at the skill. If you still continue, you gain meaningful experience which gradually increases the confidence back up. People become the victim of this effect pretty often. After the initial spike, you will begin to understand the boundaries of the smaller circle. Let me quote Tom Watson, senior founder of IBM. I am no genius. I am smart in sports, but I stay around those sports. Let's take an example from investing. Suppose you are a civil engineer by profession. It will be easier for you to understand and analyze the business models of a construction company as compared to a pharmaceutical company. So it will be wiser to invest in the engineering sector. You might miss the next pharma or financial sector boom, but you will definitely avoid losing money in the companies which were in the news but crashed because of the factors you can't even comprehend. This concept is not only applicable to investing but to life as well. Knowing your circle of competence is crucial as it will help you limit your options. In today's world, anybody can be anything. It's a good thing until you start facing choice overload. Just imagine this scenario. You decide to acquire a specific skill or choose a specific career path. And while doing your research about it, you find an article about some other hot job profile and then you start thinking about switching to this sector. So what you should do is to know your aptitudes and play according to your strengths. Now this does not mean that you should always be in your comfort zone. What it means is that you should know what you know and what you don't know as well. This will help you grow according to your abilities. You will achieve bigger success in the fields supported by your natural aptitudes. Just imagine this man who grew up listening to stories of heists suddenly thinks about joining Bollywood. He might succeed but will definitely not be as successful as this guy. So the moral of the story is, life expectancy today is about 70 years, out of which the first 22 years are used in education. Use the remaining years wisely. You can do anything but not everything. Figure out what your own aptitudes are. If you play games where other people have the aptitude and you don't, you are going to lose. You can definitely increase the size of this circle by reading, learning from experts and attending courses and webinars. You can even change the circle completely but it will take time. If you can afford it, go ahead. But always do your due diligence before jumping in any field. 
If you found this video interesting, please like the video. Tell us about your circle of competence in the comment box and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this directly to your inbox. We will meet in an another video with some another interesting information. Till then, bye bye. Take care.